Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. You know, usually I sleep and then I wake up. Uh, tonight I've even failed to sleep. I've failed to sleep. I'm just, I'm just here. Uh, I'm very disturbed. Very, very disturbed. Very, very disturbed. Uh, I'm really shaken. I'm really shaken. You know, the feeling that I have is like the feeling that I had when I, when we lost uh, to Twanguluwe. I'm sure some of you, you remember how, you know, how devastated I, I was uh, on the funeral of uh, Tutu Anguluwe. But tonight, we are not talking about a funeral. Tonight, we are not talking about a funeral because JJ Banda is alive. JJ Banda is alive. All you have to do is to release him. Release JJ Banda. Release JJ Banda. Twami Papata. Twami Papata. Release JJ Banda. Release him. Just release him. I know, you know, you do things without thinking. You do things without thinking, and now you are in this situation and you don't know what to do. I am telling you, because you are watching. I know you are watching. You are watching you people who got JJ Banda. You people who are keeping JJ Banda. You are watching. But my brothers and sisters, I am telling you, just release him. Just release him. It's okay. I know you are scared that when he comes out, he's going to talk and whatever, whatever. It is okay. It is okay. After all, you are controlling the police. So there is no one who's going to arrest you. Even if JJ comes out and no matter what he's going to say, no one is going to touch you. It's okay. But, but, if you kill, if, 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 if you slain JJ Banda, if you slain JJ Banda, if you slain JJ Banda, you are going to cause a lot of problems in our country. You are going to cause a lot of problems for yourselves. I can assure you, I can assure you, if we don't get JJ Banda alive, if we don't get JJ Banda alive, you will not be okay all of you, you will be gotten. All of you, you will be gotten and you will not be protected. You will not be protected because President Haka in the will not be there to protect you. President Haka in the will not be there to protect you. The UPND will not be there to protect you. And I know people are going to say, why are you... Uh, some, some, some? And please excuse me tonight. I, 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 I'm, allow me to just say whatever I can say, because really this is emotion. So some fools, some fools, they think we are that foolish that we can, uh, you know, take this nonsense and accept the, the, the stupid sentiments of to say, hey, hey, just wait for the police to, just wait for the police to investigate. Which police are going to investigate? Which police are going to investigate? No, don't politicize this. Don't politicize this. You want to kill JJ because of politics. Uh -huh. So don't say you don't put you want to sort out JJ because of politics. Because of politics. This is about politics. This is about UPND sustaining itself in power. This is what it's all about. There is nothing else. See? Don't even think of no JJ what what, what? nothing. JJ did not have enemies that would attack him. The only enemy that he had is the UPND. Is the UPND. That's all. That's all. 
So there is no two way. Don't even start thinking, no, this, that, nothing. Nothing. And I will explain, I mean, I will explain all these points. Why I'm making these statements, I will explain to you. There is nothing like, no, whatever, there is nothing. The only enemies that he had, that JJ had, is the UPND. Starting with Aka in the Ichirema, starting with Aka in the Ichirema, going to uh, the Speaker of National Assembly, going to uh, Liswaniso, and all the other UPND, all the unreasonable UPND. And I'm saying the unreasonable UPND because it's not all of them. There are some UPND who are already speaking sensible things. And I will play one of them. Uh, who has spoken something about it? I will I will play uh, uh, one of the recordings. So he didn't have no. You can't talk about enemies. Forget it. And for 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 me, I am putting this on the head of President Hakainde Ichilema and his entire UPND. That's why I'm putting it. It is Hakainde Ichilema and the UPND. Nothing else. And I'm going to substantiate these allegations. But first, let's start by looking at uh, uh, the circumstances. Let's start looking at the circumstances of JJ, the movements and whatever, whatever. Then we'll come and look at the police statement. Then I will go to the UPND. Why I'm putting it on Hacker and HM and UPND. I will go to that. I want to start. Let's look at the circumstances. How did JJ move about yesterday or these past few days? A lot of you, you have noticed that JJ Banda has been moving with President, President Edgar Lungu. He has been, you know, a part of the team wherever he's going. He has been part of the team of Edgar Lungu wherever he's going. He has been very prominent. The last time we saw JJ Banda, it was when uh, the police stormed the office of uh, 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 Bishop uh, uh, Clement uh, uh, Mulenga of, uh, uh, of uh, Central Pro Province, Kawe Diocese. JJ was with the president, together with it, Jin Chisenga. These two have been very prominent. And these, these two, you can all agree that they are there are some of the, they, are, they are one of those controversial MPs, one of those controversial MPs. JJ has been very controversial, and the UPND don't like him. They don't like him. They don't like him in Parliament. They don't like him outside Parliament. So JJ has seemingly infuriated the UPND because of his disposition as a controversial person and then being part of the entourage of Edgar Chagualungu. Being part of the entourage of Edgar Chagualungu. For this, he has been targeted by the UPND. And they can't deny this. Starting from Aka in the HDMI, they can't deny this. These two, Jean and, and, and JJ Banda, they have really infuriated the UPND. Including Munia Zulu. Including Munia Zulu. But look, what a coincidence that whilst we are talking about these two, Jin Chisenga just had a house gutted. A house was bent. Within a short time, the house was bent. Within a short time, a house was bent down. And I know some of you will, will start uh, uh, speculating now, but uh, why are you concluding? I mean, the UPND are the ones who are associated with gutting properties. The UPND are associated with gutting properties. The UPND, when they were in opposition, they did a lot of bad things, including burning things. The UPND bent the, uh, the, the, the market. The UPND bent that, uh, that if you remember, that uh, court which was bent down. They bent the, the you know, the pole lines. They, they, this is part of UPND actions. 
This is part of UPND actions. Because you can't tell me, I, I know some of you, you, you want to be naive to say, no, 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 whatever, whatever. It is the UPND who were doing those things. They were doing those things because of Haka Inde Ichilema, he was arrested. They were in a situation where they wanted to cause confusion in the country. They were in a situation where they wanted to cause confusion in the country. Thank God they didn't succeed. Now they are in power and they see their adversaries, such as Jin Jiseng. They have the skills. They have, they know how to do this. They have been doing this. And they went and got a singer's uh, house. Now it is JJ. Today we are talking about JJ. Now JJ, yesterday everything was okay. Every, he moved about, he was at home, he went to, he went to, uh, uh, to, 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 to Kamwala and he had prepared himself, he was preparing to go to uh, Petauke. This morning, JJ was supposed to leave for Petauke early in the morning. He wanted to leave for Petauke early in the morning around 04. That was his plan. He wanted to leave to go to Petauke early in the morning. Everything was okay. Leaving the other house and going to the other place to say, because I have to go tomorrow early in the morning. I have to go. He was going home to go and prepare to go to Petauke. So, clearly there, we can rule out issues of saying JJ was stressed. Eh? JJ had emotional uh, issues. We can completely rule them out. Because if he had emotional issues, I mean, these emotional issues would have come out. Where do you see a person, I'm going to prepare to go to, 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 go to Petauke, and then along the way, you decide to say, let me kill myself. Because this is what they want to, to purport. This is what they, they want it to look like. JJ did, uh, harmed himself. They want to, to, to pretend that the day that we will find JJ lying there, lifeless, they want us to believe that, no, he killed himself. Who does that? Who does that? You are busy preparing. You prepare everything. You even phone people to say, no, I'm coming tomorrow. I'm coming tomorrow. He was calling people in his constituency, telling them to prepare that he was going to arrive today and he was going to be there for some days. Why would a person that has got emotional issues and wants to kill himself be preparing people to say, I'm coming? People are expecting JJ today to arrive in Petauke. They were expecting to arrive in Petauke. He went to, uh, to, 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 this, to his other woman to tell her, to say, tomorrow I'm going to Petauke. And he couldn't stay. He, he, he was going back to his main house so that he, he can prepare and go. So already there, we can completely rule out the issue of no, JJ was, could have been emotionally whatever. No, it is completely out. There is no way. So, which brings me to this note, this fake note, that the police, eh, that the police want to amplify. That, sorry Zambians, eh, I am sorry Zambians. What? They are trying to insinuate that he wrote that, that note, a suicide note. They want to put it like, that is a suicide note. But no. No, he had no intentions of suicide. He had the intention to go to his constituency. That is the intention that he had. Nothing else. His intention was to go to, 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 to Petauke. Not, to, not to, to kill himself, no. Those intentions were not there. They are not there. But look at the police. Look at the police. I knew that the police are going to expose themselves. I knew that the police are going to expose themselves. If you read that statement, if you read that statement, the police are very casual, very casual in writing that statement, almost reaching a conclusion. The police, that statement is trying to lead us somewhere. They are trying to lure us 
to believe that JJ killed himself. Clearly. They want to lure us, they want us to, to look at it. Imwe, Munjereko, when did you hear the police disclosing details like the way they have done Pali JJ? And when they are investigating a case, when did you hear them revealing such details? Eh? They are telling a story in that, sto in that statement. They are telling a story of how it all started and how it ended. They have reached a conclusion. They have reached a conclusion in that, in that statement. Read it. They have started the story. No, he moved like this, he moved like this. They are telling a story and they want to, to conclude it. They want to conclude in that in that in that uh, in that statement he moved like this he moved like this and then he left this note hey then he, the phones were there hey the car was whatever was was still running it is very 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 fishy everything was planned you can clearly see that everything was planned eh? because back up they don't usually disclose some of this information especially when did you see Baka Pokola uh, uh, disclosing a suicide note they don't they don't if they find something that somebody wrote they don't that what was written there tell me we have had so many such situations tell me where you saw the police releasing uh, these notes they don't release these notes they don't, even if you do it, but Vakapokola, they don't release these notes. They don't. Especially on the first day of, you know, investigation, first day. Why are, why are they leading us? Why do they want us to think, to think in this manner? Why? Why do police want us to think in this manner? Because those who have done investigations, those who have done investigations, I'm not an investigator. They say, you know, don't, uh, believe nothing, you know, believe nothing, uh, uh, you don't know anything until you find out. Believe nothing and you don't know anything. You don't make conclusions, but that statement, they are making conclusions. And what is very surprising, you people who have... Uh, uh, lived and watched uh, uh, police uh, uh, investigations. You, it's rare that you will see a note. She go and check where on the police put it in a statement, quoting what he wrote. Babika namu namu capital letter. What he wrote? Eh? How do they? How do they? How do they know that he is the one that wrote that one? Eh? And are you telling me in that car, these are the only things that you found? I'm a phony, now this note. Are you telling me? Tamwasa ngiremo fimbi, but just this. Eh? Just this. Because this will make people think in a certain direction. This will make people think in a certain direction. They are releasing this information to prepare your mind. But no. No, bring back JJ. Bring back JJ. Bring back JJ. Because that note couldn't have been written by JJ. It is not possible. Because JJ was going to Petauke. He was going to Petauke. And okay, fine. Who decides to end his life? Who decides to, to end his life? Imagine I'm coming from wherever I'm coming from in the night. And I want to end my life. Do I park my car and disappear? Where am I disappearing to? Who does that? Who ends his life like that? Eh? Who ends his life? You park your vehicle. You go somewhere where they can't find you. And you end your life. How? Who does that? It is amateur job that you are doing. And typical of you. Typical of you. By UPND. You do things very emotional. You don't think. You don't calculate one, two, three steps. You don't. 
Imo, you were just emotional. You must have been following JJ. You got him, and that's what the, you got him and took him somewhere. But you didn't think of what will follow. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.